This is the opening of the 2023 Sculpture on the Lawn program. Four new sculptures that are loaned to us for this year. And tonight we had all four of the sculptors here and we got to meet them and talk with them. And, and as a group of people that came to look at it and express what they thought or questions they had. So it was just a fun time of talking about the art. This is something that binds us all together. Everyone can see uh, expressions uh, from around the world with the art that's here. Some of the artists are internationally known. Uh, some of the artists have displays in other countries, uh, particularly in Europe. And so uh, what it means is for every young mind or mature mind, and they have the opportunity to uh, see the dynamics of expression uh, through the art. I think we're definitely on the forefront of being able to bring a little bit more cultural uh, flavor to downtown Orlando, something that we've kind of lacked in the past. And so that's why I'm really excited to see more support for the arts community, the local community, or bringing in uh, different voices from all over the world because we are such a diverse community and having the art that represents those people uh, is very important. So Harmony is very minimalist really just two pieces of metal, but um, that's simplifying the structure and the, the curvature and the way it forms something that's harmonious. Steampunk Babylon is the total opposite. It has all kinds of little creatures and things you can open and find uh, inside, and so there's um, really an infinite number of things you can explore with that. This is how I make a living. I, I lease sculptures to cities around the country. And sometimes corporations or cities buy the works. Uh, but it also is a platform for um, artists to uh, show their work and communicate ideas. I think good art should not just be entertaining, but it should have a message as well. It should say something about what it means to be a human being living in our times. Cutting up, I wanted to do something that was just a celebratory piece. And, and then I, I dug into it a little deeper and I wanted to do something that, that, that showed the beauty emerging from something else, you know, like a cocoon, you know. And I think it makes you feel good that you can put a message out there that affects a lot of people. And even though it's a real subtle message, I mean, it's not real overbearing, it's not a political statement. You know, it's just to lighten up and have a good time. And that's it. But, you know, it does feel good that you can reach that kind of audience with public sculpture. Some of the sculptures look even better than they did in the photographs because in the photographs you see them in their normal environment. Here you see them where, uh, where the artists planned them. Where they have all the lights put on. I, I got to meet them and it was amazing because you get to learn a lot from, from, from the other artists and I'm so happy to be surrounded with them. It's just wonderful to be out with a really diverse group of people who are experiencing different things when they see it and asking great questions and I see this and oh I saw that. And it's fun to build community and public art can do that. It creates a chance for dialogue. So that kind of human interaction is what makes a good community.